Many plants are grown by farmers in large quantities, and this can deplete the nitrogen in the soil. After a few years of growing these crops, they can start to have trouble growing because there isn't enough nitrogen left in the soil. Because of this, farmers rotate their crops through their fields, allowing legumes to grow in each field every few years. These legumes contain nitrogen-fixing bacteria in their roots that replenish the nitrogen available in the soil. Alfalfa, clover, soybean plants, and pea plants are all examples of legumes that have nitrogen-fixing bacteria growing in root nodules. In some places, like swamps and bogs, the acidity of the soil keeps the level of nitrates very low. In these places, you might find carnivorous plants. These plants get their energy from the sun, but they must trap and digest insects to get the nitrogen they need to survive. Sundew plants, the Venus flytrap, and pitcher plants are all examples of carnivorous plants that digest insects to get nitrogen. Raking leaves actually reduces the nutrients in the soil in your yard. Since these leaves do not decompose and return nutrients to the soil, the amount of nitrogen in your yard can be reduced over time. Fertilizers are often used by farmers and gardeners to add nitrogen to the soil. This can help plants to grow and produce fruits and vegetables, but fertilizers can also cause problems in the environment. When fertilizers get into the water supply, they can make it too easy for microorganisms like bacteria and algae to grow. These organisms deplete the water of oxygen and can cause aquatic and marine life to die because they do not have the oxygen they need. Algae and cyanobacteria also grow on the surface and block light from reaching aquatic plants. Without light, these plants cannot perform photosynthesis and die as a result of the nitrogen pollution.